Welcome to Train Signal. This demonstration video is from my Forefront Threat Management Gateway 2010 training course. Now let's talk about configuring Web Proxy Auto Discovery, or WPAD. What is WPAD, or Web Proxy Auto Discovery? This is a method by which clients will automatically locate the URL of a proxy server configuration file that may be out on the network. The Threat Management Gateway server will act as a proxy server for the clients on the network. So we're going to configure WPAD so that it can automatically discover their settings. There are a number of ways you can configure WPAD. You can add an entry to your DHCP server called Option 252, but that only works if you're using a DHCP client. Right now, Global Mantix has all statically assigned IP addresses. You can add a WPAD entry to DNS. However, Windows Server 2008 DNS servers block WPAD entries although you can reverse this blocking and make it work. Microsoft considers the most secure way in an Active Directory environment is to add what's called an Active Directory Marker key for WPAD. This will not work if Threat Management Gateway is operating in a workgroup environment. Fortunately for Global Mantix, the Threat Management Gateway system is operating in a domain environment, so they're gonna use the Active Directory Marker option to configure Web Proxy Auto Discovery. In order to add the Active Directory Marker, you have to actually download and install a tool called the AD Config Pack from the Microsoft Forefront Threat Management Gateway 2010 Tools and Software Development Kit. The link is on your screen. And you have to extract the contents of that tool set and install it. And then there's a tool inside there called tmgadconfig.exe. You'll run the tmgadconfig.exe with the command you see on your screen, and this will add the AD marker with the appropriate information that we need in order for clients to be able to use Web Proxy Auto Discovery. Then you can use the list command with tmgadconfig.exe to see that it was actually added. And what this actually does is creates a registry key in Active Directory that you can see on your screen. It's a service connection point for Web Proxy information. So we're going to go over to the Threat Management Gateway system for Global Mantix, and we're going to download and install the AD Config Pack. We're actually going to install it because it's already downloaded. And then we're going to run these commands to make sure that we get the, the, the Web Proxy Auto Configuration stuff in place. We're back over at the Threat Management Gateway system, and I've already downloaded the AD Config Pack tool that you can see here in Administrator Download. So I'll simply double-click it to install it and click Run, move past the splash screen, accept the license terms. We'll install the program files x86, Microsoft Forefront, TMG Tools, AD Config. Click Next and Finish. That's all there is to it, folks. Not too hard. Now we'll switch to that directory, installation directory that we just installed to, and you'll see that we do indeed have tmgadconfig.exe sitting out there. So we'll type tmgadconfig, and the command that we saw is a part of the PowerPoint slide. Note that I'm running this under an administrative command prompt while logged in as the administrator user. Remember, we're making a change to Active Directory here, and I'll hit Enter. And you can see that I get a message saying new WinSock default marker successfully registered. And if I do TMG80 config list, you'll see that the entry was found. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.